Well, the, the reason that the world reached this unprecedented milestone of more than 100 million displaced by violence and conflict is the war in Ukraine. 14 million new people displaced by another senseless war. Uh, on top of the Syria war, the last decade, that's 12, 13 million. We have Yemen, we have Congo, but we also have Somalia, where I am now, where millions have been displaced by both uh, violence and conflict, and now also increasingly and dramatically by, by, uh, by drought. We're seeing a wave of horrific nationalism, xenophobic trends that are, are terrible. I mean, a, a Somali from here, I'm now in Baidoa in, in central Somalia, a family from uh, from Baidoa have no chance really of, of reaching anywhere outside of Somalia. So they have to be internally displaced. Two thirds of the 105 million displaced worldwide now are displaced within their own countries. And those who are becoming refugees are predominantly becoming refugees in neighboring poor countries. North America, the United States, Europe are taking very few refugees. We're not there to protect women, children, families fleeing. Europe is welcoming Ukrainians, but not people fleeing from other places. The US is, is not even uh, accepting many from their own neighborhood, those who are fleeing violence in Central America. Well, Irgland says it is possible to end the global refugee crisis, but at the same time, he's seeing some worrying trends. I'm both hopeful and, and concerned at the moment. The, the number one problem is conflict resolution is not working. Wars are not ending. So we're accumulating new people displaced by violence at the same time as there is no way for them out of displacement. It's very hard for people to return home to their war ra ravaged country because conflicts last forever. And Ukraine war may also be a very long lasting war now. Here in Somalia, it's been war now for 50 years, continuously. Uh, and it's not resolved just outside of Baidoa, where I am. Al-Shabaab is uh, present now as they've been for a generation. Uh, the, the other big problem is we're not helping people out of displacement by relocation to other safe places, nor in help in integration where they are. So the displaced end up in displacement camps for too long. All of this is exacerbated dramatically by climate change. At the moment, I'm, I'm, I'm really shocked by seeing how bad the drought now is in Somalia and how little the world seems to care with something which is a, 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 a catastrophe fueled by everybody but the Somalis themselves. They did not cause climate change, but they are first and hardest hit. It is man-made. It's it's human made from A to Z, both the climate uh, crisis, but also these wars. Men with power, men with guns can end this, uh, the, the, the endless violence. The Ukraine conflict can end tomorrow if there is some sense in the Kremlin and if there is a willingness to negotiate on both sides the issues uh, that, that, that needs to be dealt with in terms of minority protection, etc. So can the, should the, 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 the issues here in Africa be dealt with? There are too many armed groups, yes, but there can be conflict resolution on the local level, on the regional level, on the national level, on the, on, on the continental level as well.